hey guys welcome back to my kitchen in today's video i share with you how to make a very rich and tasty edi soup or kokoyam soup guys after trying it this way you wouldn't do it any other way trust me guys and this is a step-by-step -step guide like everything you need to know about making edi soup so let's get started i started by cooking the a day with some palm fruits i did it this way to save time as you can see i'm checking on the a day and you can see by the way i touched it it is very very tender and before doing this cooking it with the palm fruits you're going to wash the a day thoroughly so now i proceeded to pounding both the palm fruit and the edi first with the palm fruit i pounded it like this you can see and i added hot water to it now why did i use hot water this is to extract all of the oil from the chaff guys it is very very important that you use hot water you can also use cold water or room temperature water but using hot water is actually the best for this so once i did that i'm going to transfer the shaft to the sieve and then i transferred the liquid into the sieve as well once i'm done transferring it i'm going to just stir it a little to allow the liquid go down this liquid is actually the oil now i used more hot water to wash down all of the oil from the sieve into the bowl and look at it look at the way i'm doing it so i'm doing it this way to enable all of the liquid pass through the sieve and i use the hot water for the last time to just rinse out every other oil in the sieve and see guys now i'm going to use my spatula to just show you you can see that most of the oil are down the bowl so now let me show you the list of the ingredients that i'll be using for this soup now i have some stock fish and i have cut fish and also some dry cut fish and i'm using some bomo. i have some blended fresh pepper over here and some ede this ede i pounded it behind the scene you saw the ede that i cooked right so i pounded the ede and this is some dried brown i have some onion i know i know what you're thinking right some of you may be thinking they don't use onion for it so who told you it's just a matter of choice though. i have some dry fish crayfish powder and seasoning cube now i'm going to transfer all of the protein into the pot now you can use any protein of choice if you want to use beef or whatever you have it's very very fine and then i'll season with all of the blended fresh pepper and i added the dry fish i showed you guys earlier and also the prawn i removed the head of this prawn i'm going to be telling you what i did to eat I added the onion and some seasoning cube before transferring all of the fat palm fruit juice or the oil into the pot while adding the oil, I just remembered that I've not added salt. So I stopped and added the salt so that I'll use the, the juice to just wash down everything into the pot. So now I added the remaining one. And be mindful when you're doing this so that you don't add the down of it because sometimes it has sand. I covered and allowed it to start cooking. Next is our oha leaf. We are using oha leaf for this edu soup. Now look at how fresh this oha leaf is. This is the kind of leaf you would want to use to make your edu soup so that it comes out looking beautiful and fresh now see the way i'm going to remove the oha leaf once i did that i'm use, going to use my hand to just cut it you don't need knife when you're cutting your oha and this is what we have you can see how beautiful and fresh it looks now back to the pot i'm going to remove all of the cut fish the fresh one so that it does not break in the pot have you subscribed to this channel if you've not done that like what are you waiting for mm? please hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you get notified whenever i upload a new video so after adding the pounded ed i proceeded to add some crayfish i told you that i'll be telling you what i did with the head of the prawn right i pounded it and it is part of what i added with the crayfish powder so after that i'm going to be adding my ogiri this is very very important when making it a soup so do not skip it at all so i'm going to stir gently and then go ahead and cover and allow it to cook for about 15 minutes and guys look at what we have our ede has completely melted on its own 
now i'm going to stir it properly and i tasted it needed some salt i added a little bit of salt now remember that when you're using ogui you don't need too much seasoning because ogui itself is a native seasoning okay so i stirred properly tasted and everything was just fine then i went ahead and added the washed or hard leaf after adding it i'm going to give it a very good stir to combine and once i added that after a minute i turned off the heat because i don't want the oha leaf to overcook so i added back the uh catfish that i removed earlier and stirred properly to combine and that is it guys tell me what will you be pairing with this kind of soup pounded yam fufu gari with swallow tell me guys and that is it our soup is ready did you enjoy watching this video let me know in the comment section if you'll be trying it out and do not forget to like this video leave a comment and if you've not subscribed to my channel i don't know what you're waiting for do it right now thank you very much for watching see you in my next one Bye.